Good morning. Uh, today we're going to take the uh, derivative of y equals log base 2 of x squared e squared over 2 times the square root of x plus 1. Um, we could jump right in and take the derivative of this, but it may be a little easier to use the change of base formula first. It's not always to change the uh, form of this function uh, and then take the derivative. It's not always easier in my opinion to do that, but in this case I think it might be so I'm just going to try it, and it's always good to try new things. So we have uh, y equals um, the natural log of x squared e squared over 2 square roots of x plus 1 divided by the natural log of 2. This is a change of base formula. We use the natural log. Um, we don't have to, you could use log base 10, but this E in there kind of tells me that, that that's probably what they want you to do in this problem. Um, so now we can uh, pull out that 1 over, I'm just going to do this laterally here, uh, and make it a product of this, and product of the numerator, and I can split up the numerator. Uh, first of all, into uh, the ln of x squared e squared minus the ln of 2 square roots of x plus uh, 1. Now I can uh, break these this product up and I can break this product up. Uh, more and more I'm kind of wondering if this method is easier but anyway it's the way your book shows it so it's the way I'm gonna do it um, so we have the ln of x squared plus the ln of e squared uh, minus the ln of 2 uh, minus I'm distributing uh, the negative minus the ln of uh, the square root of x plus 1 uh, several things I could do here of exponents. Uh, I'm also going to multiply through by the ln of 2. Uh, might as well to go ahead and I'll bring these exponents down as I do. This is exponent of 1 half and then I think we're ready to take the derivative. So here I'll have um, 2 ln of x over ln of 2. Here I will have uh, plus 2 times the ln of e, which is of course just 1 over the ln of 2, and not to mention that's all a constant, so when I take a derivative, that term's going to be 0, uh, minus ln of 2 over ln of 2, that's also a constant, that's, and in fact it's 1, and that's going to be 0, um, minus uh, ln, oh sorry, um, bringing the 1 half down in front, the ln of x plus 1 over 2 ln of 2. The 1 half comes down in front, that's where I got the 2. The 1 over ln of 2 is how I got that. So um, now I'm going to take the derivative, and I don't know how much simplification I'm going to do because uh, I'm running out of room. Um, y prime, uh, 2 over the ln of 2 is just a constant. So we'll have 2 ln of 2 times the derivative of ln of x is just 1 over x. Uh, the derivative of 2 ln of e, that's just a 1, but anyway, 2 over, it's just 0, uh, minus another, the derivative of 1, or ln of 2 over ln of 2, depending on how you want to look at it, I guess, 1, is 0, uh, so I'm left with minus, um, we have just the constant 1, uh, uh, two, 1 over 2 ln of 2, you also rewrite that as uh, ln of 4 if you wanted to. Uh, times the derivative of the ln of x plus 1 is 1 over the argument, which is x plus 1 times 1 over the ln of the base, the base is e, uh, and that's essentially the derivative. Um, let's go ahead and, and get a common denominator. Why not? I just need a 2 uh, times x plus 1 in this denominator and a x in this denominator, correct? Yes, so y prime equals uh, 2 times 2 is 4 times x plus 1 uh, minus 
all I have to put over here is an x, right? Minus x uh, all over the same denominator of uh, 2. Ooh, that'll cancel probably. Um, <laughs> sorry. It probably won't actually now that I look at it. 2 ln of 2 uh, x. Uh, I'm going to put some parentheses around there. Times x plus 1. And then cleaning that up, that's 4x minus x is going to be 3x uh, plus 4. And I'm going to change that to ln of 4. Um, yeah, why not? And I'm going to put my x, x plus 1 first, and then ln of 4. And that's the derivative. Um, 3x plus 4 times, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I made it into ln of 4. You could leave it anyway. I'm not, that's it.